A test and balance is critical to ensuring that your store is built with the HVAC system you specified and so that it operates as efficiently and comfortably as possible. The test and balance firm should be independent and work directly for the store owner to ensure your best interests are represented. The firm should also be certified by a national organization such as NEBB, AABC, or TABB to ensure basic quality standards are met and industry accepted procedures are used. Upon arrival to the job site, the technician meets the general contractor superintendent, the owner's project manager, the mechanical contractor, and the electrical contractor if on site. First, the technician performs a quick assessment of the construction progress, the HVAC installation, and the job site condition to determine whether the test and balance can be performed. This is an opportunity to quickly identify any major deficiencies that may delay or prevent the test and balance. Any such deficiencies need to be communicated immediately to all parties involved so that they may be corrected or the test and balance may be rescheduled. The technician requests the latest revision of construction mechanical plans from the superintendent. He thoroughly reviews the documents, records pertinent design data for the balance report and notes any discrepancies, missing information or potential field problems. This step should ideally be performed in advance of the test and balance if the design information can be secured. Any discrepancy should be resolved with the owner or engineer. The technician compares the installed HVAC equipment and systems with the design plans and specifications. He notes any deviations from the design or any equipment substitutions. He checks all HVAC equipment and controls for proper operation. This includes, but is not limited to, fan rotation, heating and cooling modes, thermostat operation, damper controls, fan controls and so on. The technician notes any performance issues. He ensures that all balancing dampers are fully open. He also records pertinent equipment data for the balance report. This inspection is to ensure that the owner is receiving the HVAC system they specified and paid for. This is also to ensure that all HVAC equipment is operating properly and is an opportunity to identify and possibly correct any problems.
Some common deficiencies are incorrect diffuser type or location, flex duct not secured, ductwork or diffusers not insulated, flex duct too long or restricted, thermostats not wired to the correct unit or sensor, condensate drains not piped correctly, reversed fan rotation, dirty air filters, dampers missing, and fans installed on the wrong roof curbs. The technician measures and records initial fan speeds, motor amp draws, and motor voltages. The technician measures and records all initial supply, return, makeup, and exhaust airflow. This may be accomplished by totaling all individual diffusers, grills, and registers, performing a pitot tube traverse of the duct, or by plotting fan operating data, RPM, horsepower, and static pressure on the manufacturer's performance curves. The purpose is to determine the initial operating state of the HVAC equipment. The technician compares the initial operating conditions with the design conditions and determines what fan speed adjustments need to be made in order to achieve total design airflow from each piece of equipment. Changing the airflow may require adjusting variable pitch sheaves, replacing fixed pulleys, adjusting motor speed controls, or rewiring multi-speed motors. This is the most energy efficient way to achieve total design airflow.
The technician adjusts individual balancing dampers for supply, return, makeup, and exhaust as needed to achieve design airflow from each diffuser, grill, and register. After all final adjustments, he verifies that the total airflow is still near design and marks the position of balancing dampers for future reference. These adjustments are important to ensure proper distribution of airflow and acceptable comfort in all areas of the store. The technician measures and records final fan speeds, motor amp draws, and motor voltages. This will verify whether the HVAC equipment is operating within acceptable limits after the airflow has been balanced. The final operating conditions are a useful reference for future service personnel and are marked on the equipment. The technician measures and records the final differential pressure between the interior of the store and the outdoors. This may be accomplished at the store's main entrance using a magnahelic gauge or a manometer. This will confirm that the final building pressure is slightly positive relative to the outdoors, which is important for proper store comfort, humidity and HVAC efficiency. Some stores located within a larger building, such as a mall or office tower, may be required to have a slightly negative pressure relative to the main building but should still be slightly positive relative to the outdoors. Some common store problems resulting from a negative building pressure are high humidity, condensation, uncomfortable drafts near the front entrance, uncontrollable temperature swings, and increased energy usage of the HVAC equipment. The technician walks through the entire store, checking for any noticeable drafts or uncomfortable hot cold areas. A smoke puffer can also be used to visualize air currents and drafts. The technician makes any necessary adjustments to balancing dampers and the directional louvers of diffusers, grills and registers to eliminate the drafts and hot cold spots. He will also note any deviations from design airflow that may have been required to eliminate the problem. This fine-tune adjustment is important to ensure acceptable comfort in all areas of the store. The technician completes the documentation of the final test and balance report for submittal to the store owner. As the final documentation may take some time to prepare, it is also good to discuss any remaining deficiencies with the general contractor superintendent and the owner's project manager while still on the site. Digital pictures of deficiencies may also be included in the balance report to help document and explain any problems. Ideally, the report should be completed using computerized forms for convenience. The final test and balance report serves as a record of the store's HVAC equipment, its properly balanced operating conditions, and is a useful reference for future service personnel and the store owner. A proper and thorough test and balance performed by an independent and certified firm will help ensure that your store operates comfortably and efficiently. Now that the HVAC system has been correctly installed and balanced, it is critical that the equipment be taken care of with a routine maintenance program. It is also recommended to have your store balance rechecked every two to three years and after any major remodel.